Welcome all you young rounders And a story I'll tell Of the promise of heaven And the warning of hell Take heed where you ramble Or too soon you will go Way up on the hillside Where the new flowers grow What are you doing? Good morning, guys. We are gearing up for a super exciting day. We got our trusses delivered successfully yesterday. And after only, what, like a 12 or 15 hour long drive, we got the forklift up to our property as well. So we can actually install everything safe and sound. So yesterday was quite the struggle. Obviously, you guys probably saw it. And now our trusses are here. The forklift is here. Brandon and Joel just showed up and we're ready to get to work. Today is going to be very exciting, a little nerve wracking and a lot of fun. Where the new flowers grow. Have you driven, have you used a forklift before? Yeah, I mean, I uh, used a forklift to put the fireplace in the house. Perfect. Yeah. We rented a forklift that could install these trusses. Um, now we just have to do it. <laughs> Today's gonna be a good day. So Trent is kind of prepping the site. He's marking layout for exactly where the trusses need to be installed. It's nice. It's actually like kind of an overcast, cooler day than it has been recently. So um, hopefully this weather stays because it's very pleasant to be working out here right now. It's been a little bit rainy. I don't think it's supposed to rain. If it could just stay like this, that would be perfect. But hopefully Trent can get layout set up nice and easily. And then all we have to do is just pick and place these trusses and Brandon's gonna just staple them on there in place and maybe use a little bit of scotch tape and we'll, we'll be good to go. <laughs> no scotch tape here. <laughs> I've finished doing layout. Now we have to build a couple of supports and a couple stops for the truss that's gonna go on the far wall over here. And we gotta get the first truss set. So basically you're trying to set all of the trusses, block them, and sheet them in one day. Oh, that would be overachieving. I was like, wait Especially a minute. for us. <laughs> okay. We're basically gonna go unpack the trusses now, get our first gable truss up, and uh, hook it up to the forklift, try and fly it over here, get it in place, and nail it down. So we're gonna set one truss today. Yeah, <laughs> that's where we're starting at least. Come over here and lay it down that direction, and then we'll be able to pull the first gable up, install it, and then move the second gable. The first thing we've gotta do is get our straps wrapped around the top of the truss, and attempt to pick it up, rotate the entire stack, lay it on the other side so that we can get one of the gable end trusses. And we don't wanna unband it until we do that. All right, let's see if we can do this slowly and safely. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. So these guys are trying to rotate 
the entire stack so that the gable sides are up so that it's easier to pick up and start actually installing them, but also kind of move them to a spot where they won't be in Trent's way while he's using the forklift to install each truss on the roof. He wants to be able to drive up as close to the garage as possible so that the arm doesn't have to extend as high when he installs each truss. So they're just trying to use the space as effectively as possible with the little driveway pad we have in front of the garage and figure out exactly where they can sit so that we don't have to keep moving them. And that's how it's done. <laughs> huh? do that? Get one in there, hammer it in with your hand, and then pry it downward. Downward. Oh, downward. That makes more sense. I was like, how would that work? Yeah! Like that. So we got the stack flipped. We got all the bands cut. We're gonna try and pick up this first truss. And I'm just hoping, I got like the longest reach forklift that I think we could get up here. And uh, it goes 55 feet, and this is 25 feet, and maybe that's another 25 feet. So we'll probably be like right up against these trusses by the time I get to the right distance. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I have to drive over here, do it from there. I don't really know, but what I do know is we're gonna hook up this first uh, truss, the strap to the first truss. We're gonna put some guy lines, one on each end. Joel's gonna hold one end, Brandon's gonna hold the other end. We're going for it, baby. Before we do this, I just want to make sure everybody is aware that if we're safe, it will be safe. But we just need to make sure we keep control of the truss at all times when it's in the air. We're gonna, I'm gonna pick this up. We're gonna basically stand it against the front of the building, not necessarily touching. I'm gonna lift it up until it's just barely above the double top plate. The forklift will be holding the weight of the truss, but you guys will be controlling the ends of the truss. And once it's in place up there, we're gonna hold it with the forklift. You guys are gonna hold the ends. I'm gonna come in there with the nail gun and I'm gonna start nailing it down. And remember, I'm in this, which has like the engine going, so it's hard for me to hear you already, okay? <clears throat> and you're on the other side of the building, so I'll use smoke signals or something. <laughs> um, Sending out an SOS. Yeah. <laughs> So I, I think this will be relatively easy and I think we'll be able to do it no problem. Not as flawlessly as a crane would be able to do it, but... We don't like cranes. We've had some bad experiences with cranes, so we're giving the forklift a try. And uh, this is when stuff gets intense, so... Yeah, we got this. We got it. We're fine. Yeah. It can't reach. I'm guessing this is my max reach. We're like six feet away, so I think if I could pull up over here that I can reach and set it down where it needs to go. Okay. But you guys are both gonna have to hold on to the ropes, and as I back up and reposition over here, it's gonna pull the truss in crazy directions. You on top of your wall now? All right, I think these guys actually have it. Maybe it looks a little scary in the video, but they have guy lines attached to both sides. Um, so they're able to make sure it isn't out of control. Trent just changed position of the forklift. So now he doesn't have to be fully extended. Um, they're just gonna set it in place now. And I think uh, hopefully they can do that nice and easily. fun part begins. Good job. All right, usually the first is the worst and uh, that was pretty good. They have it set in place. They're just making sure it's perfectly where they want it to be uh, nail gunned in place and then they're gonna nail it, brace it, block it. This is exciting. How was that? Um, it went a lot better than I thought it would. So I feel like I did pretty good. Communication was better than I thought it would be, especially with the loud engine of the forklift. Good, good. And that was the worst one, right? It'll all get smoother from here. Yeah, hopefully. This is, this is what
what framers do. This is normal operation for a framer is walking on top of the top plate. And this is a two by eight. Framers walk on top of two by four walls that are second story. <sighs> And they're insane. I'm literally just standing here, like just trying to scoot over to the next ladder. It's not fun. Go slow, please. They'll like work up here with bags all day. Yeah, it's true. These guys aren't even wearing their bags. A little terrifying. Even after one truss being installed like this, I'm just realizing, I mean, I knew already, but now it's like the visual of it makes it so in your face how huge this building is going to be. <laughs> this is gonna be so tall. <laughs> and it's gonna be so scary to put up like the first three trusses. Yeah. Just cause like, remember how shaky and crazy that one was? Yeah. We got to do it with the next one right next to this one. And not hit it. And not hit it. That's a really good point. <laughs> I feel like there's no way this is going to work, you know? It's gonna work, Grant. Right? I know that the trusses are engineered, and as long as it's installed right, everything's gonna go fine, and it's gonna be strong enough. But in my mind, these trusses are like a piece of wet spaghetti. <laughs> They're like a wet noodle. And like, once you get them up, we gotta get all the sheathing on them and the floor and all that stuff, and it just like feels like this whole thing is gonna be like a wibbly wobbly, like, house of cards why did we not roll the joists first roll the joists for the there floor no the f or I, whatever they're called are they floor or roof joists i guess this these are this is the roof the floor joists and the roof joists oh like once we put all these down there you just a... put the flooring on top of that oh that's cool so like as soon as we get like four of these up, we can grab a sheet of flooring or a couple sheets of flooring and put it up here and then we have somewhere to stand. Yeah. But until then, while we're working, I'm having a moment, okay? Why don't you have this moment with your feet planted firmly on the ground? I'm feeling defeated. Well, we've only gotten one done. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Gate Joel proof? Yeah, probably. Yay! That's Joel! <laughs> They're having a blast. I heard Trent just now saying, man, working with traditional lumber is easy because this is definitely uh, the most prefabbed we've ever done anything. We've always like hand built every single piece by ourselves. We stick framed this roof. And um, when we were planning to build the garage, everyone recommended if, we, if it was possible to do engineered trusses. And we loved that idea. And uh, it's proving to be way easier uh, than stick framing for sure. <laughs> Three up, got them blocked. I think we're gonna start moving quickly now. Nice, all right. I do have to go to the bathroom though. Okay. I wanted to take a minute out of today's video to let you guys know today's video is actually sponsored by Cuts Clothing. 
Now, Cuts Clothing is actually my new favorite brand. They sent me a handful of different styles. I absolutely fallen in love with their clothes. Their fits are amazing, the quality of the material is great, and I probably don't think I'm ever gonna wear anything else again except for Cuts Clothing, other than when I'm like, you know, doing work because I don't wanna ruin them because they're actually really nice. Cuts Clothing created the perfect shirt. It fits just right, it doesn't wrinkle, you could wear it lounging on the couch or for a night on the town. Their fabrics are insanely soft and retain their shape all day. Buttery soft in all the right places with a minimalistic and athletic fit. Their women's line is just as amazing with shirts that are pre-shrunk, wrinkle-free, and super easy to style. I cannot recommend these guys enough. Whether you're going on a date night, you're going into the office, or you're just lounging around at home, they've got something that's gonna make you feel super comfortable and keep you looking fresh. They also have shorts and swimsuits and all different other types of stuff. So if you guys are in the market for some really comfortable, amazing clothes, Clothes, click the link in our description and use code Trent and Alley for 15% off. Wanted to say thanks again to Cuts Clothing for sponsoring today's video. Now we are gonna get back to these trusses. It's going good. We've got hi Joel. Hi. We have three trusses up for 13 total. And Joel said he's not going home until we get them all erected and stood and blocked and everything. He what said he's gonna spend the night and hang out with us tomorrow. Wow, you wanna hang out with us? How does it feel being back at work? Not had to wake up this early in so long. <laughs> We're happy to have you back. Did you see the tracker? Yeah. Thank you. Fourth truss down. They're gonna block, brace, nail, and carry on. I think that took like Two and a half minutes, so they are just cruising at this point. Up. The only air conditioning in this forklift is this little Ace Ventura and the Rhino fan. <laughs> and all it's doing is just circulating hot air in here, and it is, it's, it's hotter in here than it is out there, because yeah. here you're getting like magnified, but it's really warm. This big cloud is about to roll over and give us a little bit of reprieve from the sun, but we're making good headway. We've got five trusses up. We've got eight left. Should be done by like 8 p.m. <laughs> Just in time for Joel to make us dinner and we can watch some old movies together. Yeah. Ace Ventura. Ace Ventura's not old. The oldest of movies. <laughs> Light red carnations on the tablecloth Handwritten letter, oh that's fading art It says to my dearest as I write this today The words are hard to flow But you ought to know The words are hard to flow But you ought to know Wow! I don't even think that was one whole minute! That's right! Well, we're getting closer to the front too, which helps. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have to reach as far. Do you hear that? What? Thunder. Thunder, but no lightning. Well, not yet. Uh, well, we are making quite a bit of progress. We've got six done, which is almost halfway, and some clouds are rolling in. Might sprinkle a little bit, but mostly it's just gonna provide us a little bit of shade from the sun, because it is super hot and miserable out here. <sighs> At least we're getting faster. Yeah. Like every one is Super. like. That's a, that's a, that's a. Now this one's gonna be like. That's a. I can't get up. on my own The world is moving on I'm still standing here Searching for steady ground A place to settle down No reasons left to find One day I'll change your mind and it won't come easy But I know it's worth the fight And I will run across the river Do you 
you hear that? It's getting louder. It's getting closer. And the thunder rolls. I can't remember how it goes. <laughs> and the lightning strikes. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Another heart goes cold. <laughs> Sleepless night. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> just leave that to go As the storm rolls out <laughs> of control. <laughs> 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 Is it coming right now? I cannot tell. There's been like sporadic raindrops for the last like half an hour. There's a couple more happening right now, but maybe that's all that's going to happen. We'll see. You guys, Help. it's time. We don't want this falling over. <laughs> you better make sure it's braced because as soon as it happens, we're gonna have to run inside. Yeah, right, we're working. Not if it's downpouring. Yeah, huh? What do you think we are? It's coming right now. All right, Leo. We're going in. It's raining. Can you feel the rain? It is nice and warm out, so it's actually fine, but it's coming down. Oh, I'm going inside. Ah! <laughs> Oh man, both dogs in here, good. It's raining so hard you can hear it loudly on the roof. Not just a sprinkle. <laughs> Trent! Brace everything and come inside. Brace everything. It'll take us like three hours to brace everything. Then come inside. It'll be done in five minutes. No way. Jinx stuff. It's a good thing we have a mud room in this house. You guys are a mess. I'm not muddy. Oh, you're wet. <laughs> you're a little wet. Oh my goodness. A wet. Just barely. Oh, dang it. Your flat fell out of your hat. That's how wet it is. Yeah, my hat is destroyed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Your hair was poking out the top. <laughs> <laughs> top of my head is going to get sunburnt. Yeah, we just wanted to have a Leo break. We just wanted to have a little deal break. Oh, we could have four or five. Little deal break, little deal break, little deal break. Very good. Okay, here's the first one. Searching for steady ground. A place to settle down. Oh, that's my nose. Oh, yeah. Wow. Left to find. One day I'll well, we thought we were gonna call a five minute break and after about five or 10 minutes, it like let up and I was like, all right, let's just wait till it like completely stops raining and we'll go out. And now it's like surging again. <laughs> I feel like we've traded weather with Jordan and Kaylee from the nomadic movement. Yeah. It's just like dumping rain like it does in Central America. <sighs> and the forecast is that it's supposed to rain for like the next hour or two, you know? We wait forever to get these trusses. <laughs> and then like the day they show up, it's like, all right, all we need is one good day. And we're like 80% of the way there. And it's like, yeah, take that. <laughs> a little bit rough, but we got our hopes high. We still got, you know, three and a half trusses. We have one truss sitting on the walls that's not actually like attached. And then three that are on the ground. So we're like really close. If we could just get like another hour of like clear skies or of not raining, I think we could bust it out. And then we could just put it to bed and call it a day. But honestly, we, we can't leave it how it is. It has to be like 
we need some sheathing up there to hold these uh, trusses together because if some really heavy winds came through, we could lose half the project if we're not careful. So, yeah, you can catch us waiting here in the rain. probably been another 30 minutes and the rain has finally stopped so it's cold now it's wet but we've got a job to do we're gonna head out and uh, finish getting these trusses installed or hung or raised or set I don't know what the word is but we're gonna do it scale of one to ten how excited are you to be here so stoked let's go work so I can go home scale of one to ten Five. <laughs> We gotta just block this one and then put up the last truss and we're done. Okay. Well, it's about 5.15 on a Friday afternoon and the rain continues to like let up and then come back and then let up and then come back. So much for that five minute thunderstorm. It's not thundering actually, it's not lightning. There aren't even any clouds. It's just like one gray sheet in the sky and these guys um, really want to finish the job because it would be more dangerous to leave it the way it is over the weekend. They just want to make sure it's all braced down properly. And in order to do that, they need to finish installing all of the trusses and put up some shear panels. My sun hat did not fend so well as a rain hat. Not at all. <laughs> what a day. Um, we got all the trusses up. Yeah. They're all a little crooked. Well, you can't tell from here. <laughs> yeah, it's the the whole thing. All of them just need to rack one direction a little bit. So we're trying to devise. Nothing is like that. cross braced or anything. It's all like parallel bracing, so we can still rack it. Okay. So in the next video yeah that's okay we're gonna rack it we're gonna put the floor down do a bunch of other stuff <sighs> i got i heard you yell I stood up into one of those metal things the metal corner oh. so if i wasn't so got this old man fat here that's just <laughs> hanging over my belt did it get your is it gonna bruise like your bone or is it just the the flesh no it was just a legit fat scrape <laughs> All right, well, I've got nine minutes left on the timer for some homemade, fresh out of the oven chocolate chip cookies. Yay! So you guys have to wait around just a few more minutes. I told Joel we'd take them to dinner too. Perfect, good. <sighs> well, I guess we've got to wait around for a few more minutes. Joel came in and said he was freezing and that it was raining and cold and this like hot summer day had turned into like a very, very cold summer day. So I figured even though it is close to dinner time, we are ruining everybody's appetites that doesn't matter because everyone is cold and they deserve some warm, delicious chocolate chip cookies. It's a fancy hors d'oeuvre. Yeah. These are appetizers for your dinner. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't think anyone is gonna not eat dinner here because they had a couple cookies. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I've never let a cookie ruin my dinner. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about the cold. Thank you. Just, yet. Just in case. The trees haven't started to shed. Oh, oh, oh. feel the summer sun as it All right. Well, thank you for staying to finish the job. Oh, absolutely. Yes, thank you. Back in Adam on Monday to uh, straighten things out and maybe continue construction. Maybe we quit. <laughs> they look pretty straight, though. Yeah. Yeah, they look straight. The bubble says otherwise. <laughs> yeah, we haven't it checked with the real level yet. Okay. Oh, that's true. Maybe they're perfect. 
Yeah, let's bank on that. Brandon, have hey. a good one. You guys too, have a good weekend. Just have a good See weekend, you. yep. See Bye. You. See you, Sandy. <laughs> all right, Joel. Me. The pressure Earth rests trapped. on you. Yeah, first of all, you're trapped here. <laughs> Let me try one of these dinner ruining cookies. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. They ate. They ate. <laughs> nice little crispy outside. Warm, gooey inside. Mission accomplished. The seasons come and they go But I hope you know that I, I won't We took a little bit of time and took a shower and got ready and now we're actually going to be taking Joel out for some Indian food. We're going to take him out to dinner as like a little reward for staying here for like eight hours straight and working forever and in the rain and like just working hard and yeah, anyway. It's been a long day um, and it's been a long time since Joel has come to work. So we're really happy to have him back. We're really happy that everything went so smoothly today and we're really happy to be able to all spend some time together this lovely Friday evening. Yeah, we're just, uh, I'm just happy that we got the trusses all set. Still a lot of work to do, but yeah. at least all the trusses are set. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video of us getting all the equipment up here and then setting all the trusses, make sure you let us know by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks guys, we love you. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. Yeah. And die.